Hey everyone, my name is Natalie. Do you ever wonder what love is and if you've ever experienced it? Stay tuned to see what God has to say about love. If I ask 20 different people what love is, I'll probably get 20 different answers. But God's answer is constant. Love is the greatest commandment. When asked, Jesus said, the first of all the commandments is, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Mark 12, 30 to 31. So love is a commandment, an order. That may not sound good to you, that's because our generation has a problem with obeying rules. So did the Israelites. The worldly culture tells us to be in control of our own destiny and follow our hearts. But remember that we are called to be separated from that way of thinking. See, God gave us his commandments as a gift, something that would make our lives so much more fulfilled. His word says that if you love him, you will obey his commandments, and his commandments will not be a burden on you. His commandments are full of life, and they lead to life. Okay, Natalie, so how does this teach me about love? I'm getting there. God commands us to love him with everything we have. What does that look like? Loving God means we will always put him first. It means we ask him before we make decisions. It means we spend time getting to know him every day. And it means we put respect on his name. Doing all these things benefits us because in return for our obedience and love to him, God provides for us and protects us from the evil one. When hard times come, and we don't see God's provision or protection, it's still important to obey Him because it shows that we truly love God no matter the circumstances. God also commands us to love others. We can love others by thinking of them before ourselves, putting ourselves in their shoes before giving our opinion, and treating them the way we would like to be treated. When we love others, we open a door for them to know God and have salvation through Jesus. We also love others by telling them the truth with love and by sharing the gospel with them. Think about it. If you say you love your friend or family member who is unsaved and you never shared the gospel with them, do you really love them? If you're okay with them spending eternity in hell, I don't think that's showing the love of God. If they will not listen to you, just show them the power of the gospel by letting the Holy Spirit work in your life. That's the best we can do as believers. Thank you so much for your attention to the things of God. Stay tuned for next week's video, where we will give you more God-inspired word to help you create an even better relationship with your creator. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and teachings like these. To end, I will leave you with these words found in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. God bless you all from everyone here at GCYM, and I hope to see you soon at our congregation. Bye.